weeks and three days pregnant I believe three or four um I'll verify that and put that in the title but um yeah so I'm just ready for work playing with Miss Bella until I get until it's time for me to go to work getting her little energy out with her little ball say hi Bella say hi <laughs> she stopped okay I love you. So yeah. Um so lately so okay, let's go back. So recap of the baby shower. Um we had planned the baby shower like maybe two two months in advance. Um you know, I invited everyone. There were people who told me, you know, who had the common courtesy to, you know, tell me like, Hey, I can't make it, I'm sick or I work, you know, whatever. And then there was, like, a lot of people who just didn't fucking show up. Um, which makes me kind of happy that I didn't spend, you know, as much money as I was going to. Like, I didn't go super all out. I didn't, you know, spend a whole bunch of money uh, on party favors. I mean, I didn't spend... Okay, Bella. I didn't spend an extreme amount of money, period. Um, like I said, all the decorations that we used, aside from, like, the tablecloths, um, are all going up into her room for, um, for decorations for the nursery. So I'm, like, using that, like, double. I didn't spend any money, any, ex like, excessive amount of money for anything that we're going to throw away, like, tablecloths, uh, paper, or er, napkins, and utensils were all from the Dollar Tree. Um, just because you're going to throw them out. Like, why spend... You know, there were some really cute um, rose gold... Get the ball. There were some really cute rose gold, like, utensils and cup sets on Amazon when I was okay. looking. Sorry. Um, Andrew just um, called me on his... Uh, break at work but anyways as I was saying there's some really cute rose gold um, cups plates silverware whatever that I did think about getting but then I just remembered like I'm not so sure about the turnout which the turnout wasn't very good I did have fun though um, all of his family came which is great I mean obviously why wouldn't they come um, I had six personal personal friends on my side come so that wasn't really a lot but I mean what can I expect um I just when planning the shower I did remember the reveal party that was a way better turnout We're, despite the fact that you know it was so cold and it like um because it was outside so I figured, you know, it's at our house, a lot more people will show up, but they didn't, whatever. Um, I just have a problem with people who say, you know, they're going to come down to the day before. They're like, yeah, I'll come, and they just don't show up. Like, that's very rude. Um, hey, baby. Sorry, I had to um, respond to a text. My friend is picking me up for work. But, um, yeah, I just think that's super rude. That's just, like, okay, you could have told me. I mean, I had my event, my reveal party and my baby shower events were both on Facebook. So it's really easy. You could just say you can't go on it. You could just click on it and, you know, I'll know you're not going to be there. So I'm not sitting there waiting for you, you know. Like, it was kind of just, like, disheartening. You know, when we went to, you know, do cake and stuff, and everyone's looking at me like, hey, like, are we waiting for anybody else? Is anyone else going to come? You know, I mean, 
it's nothing new. I, I mean, being here in Colorado, I don't have the support that um, I would have if we lived in Chicago. But then again, if we had me and Andrew and the baby and Bella moved to Chicago, Andrew wouldn't have all the support that he has here now. And I mean, they support me and the baby and us too. So, you know, so I can't complain. They're awesome. But it's just one of my pet peeves that people just do that. Like, why? Like, you knew it was important to me. I know there was a few people who didn't show up. Possibly just because they didn't have money to get a gift. But that's not... That's not my... That's not, like, the whole reason why I had the baby shower. You know? The baby shower is to celebrate my daughter. And, um... For that... I mean, obviously, it's nice to get gifts, you know, because that's less stuff that we have to buy to prepare for her. But because of the the low, um, what's it called? The low, sorry, I'm going blank. Because of how, like, how, oh my god, because of how many people didn't show up, we didn't get a lot of um, the stuff that we needed, so we're still gonna have to go and get that, so that's kind of a bummer, but, you know, but like I said, it wasn't just about the gifts, it was just about being supported and having friends there, and, um, I did have my friend, a few friends from work, you know, contact me, like, hey, you know, sorry we worked or whatever, so I did post, I was pretty pissed off, and I did post, you know, thank you for everyone who came, but, you know, if you didn't come and you didn't bother to tell me you're not coming, don't ask me to come to your events, you know. Because um, it's very simple just to tell somebody you're not coming, you can't, you can't attend. And I had a whole bunch of people, like, messaging me, like, oh, sorry, this and that, and making excuses or whatever. But I did have a few of my friends tell me, you know, even though they didn't come, they still got her a gift, which is super sweet. And again, it's not about the gifts. I just wanted the support. But, you know, whatever. Um, everyone complimented me on... What do you see, Bella? Everyone con complimented me on the... Um, on the decoration. So that was nice. Because I did um, end up decorating... Well, not entirely by myself. I had the help of my roommate and of Andrew... But, you know, the whole vision was by myself just because, you know, I tried to make it fun and I tried to, you know, ask people if they want to help me and help me look for decorations and all of that. But, you know, everyone's busy. So, you know, I just did it by myself because, you know, no one's going to really know exactly how I want something done. Which is why I was so stressed out about it. Um, still have the little palm, palm things or whatever. Um, I was really stressed out about the party. Even though I knew there was a high percentage chance that, you know, it wouldn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. Which it didn't, but that's fine. Um, now I'm just like rambling, but I'm pretty happy with my decorating I wish I got some more pictures like some better pictures but whatever um like I said I got some pretty cute stuff that'll go up in her nursery so aside from you know the the little disappointment I did have fun we did play games I uploaded you know a little vlog for my baby shower um but yeah, so we played some games, ate cake, you know, all that fun stuff. Bella, move. Everyone who did attend did have a lot of fun. We did, we laughed a lot, you know. Bella got to see a lot of people. We had a lot of family around, so that was nice. Um, but aside from the baby shower, um... Some updates. Sorry, I keep like walking around looking out the window because my ride's about to be here for work. But aside from that, um, 
No, I just went blank. <laughs> Aside from that, we... So, a few updates, being 35 weeks. I believe that she is trying to turn. Um, I'll just look down at my stomach and it hurts. Like, her movement's starting to hurt me. And, like, half of my stomach will be all big, you know. Um, as it has been, but it's, it's been hurting lately. I've been having um, lower abdominal cramps. Um, like, sharp pains. Um, let's see. Yesterday, I did think that my water broke because I kept having to go to the bathroom. Um, I went to the bathroom one last time, and it, it felt like I filled the whole toilet up. <laughs> Not to be, like, TMI. But when I looked, it was clear, so I freaked out about that. So I had to ask um, his grandma, the baby's Gigi, and... Our roommate, because our roommate has actually um, helped deliver a baby before. She's, like, so kick-ass. Like, I love our roommate. She has done, like, everything you can imagine. But she's, you know, helping me through everything. Helping me, um, you know, she, she told me, you know, even if it's, like, 11 o'clock at night and you're freaking out and you need advice or something, just let me know, you know. Um, but yeah, so I had to ask them, she did say that, his grandma said that it all comes out at once, but then my roommate said that depending on the woman, depending on people, it can come out, um, you know, at separate times, but it's not something you can hold in, like pee, so I don't know what that was about last night, but, um, then I went to, I went to the bathroom this morning and it was just regular again um so yeah i've been having a lot of cramping a lot of back pains um we did these little predictions back to the baby shower we did these little predictions and they are hilarious i will definitely make a video um i still have some prediction sheets for my friends who couldn't attend the party to fill out um so once I do that, I'll make a video of me reading them, and some of them are super funny. <laughs> um, but a lot of there are a few predictions that I'll have our daughter like the end of this month, which I'm kind of nervous about. I am packing my hospital bag right now. Um, I basically have. I think I basically have all her stuff in her diaper bag. Um, I just have to pack for us, uh, me and Andrew. Um, we're also trying to get the nursery ready. Hopefully this weekend we'll get the flooring in because we really need, get, need to get the crib put together. Um, one of the gifts from my baby shower was this super cute playpen that we're supposed to be getting today. So I wanna put that up today already. I'm excited. We already put the, I put together the stroller, um, took out her car seat. We just have to, this weekend we have to clean the car out a little bit. Got some like plates and bags and stuff in there. And then put the car seat base in, just so we're ready to go. Um, I have like her little blanket that we're, bringing with her in the car seat that my friend Celeste gave me. I have I have pictures. I didn't put the last gift that I got just because it was after the baby shower, but I have some pictures if you follow ha have me on Facebook and Instagram. I have pictures on there and she did a wonderful job. Like she got me the cutest stuff, but she got me this super soft blanket that we're going to you know, put in her car seat with her when we bring her home. Um, I'm just like staring at her stroller and car seat because I'm so excited. I'm very nervous still about giving birth. I'm super scared. But, um, you know, when it's time, it's time. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of having to pee every 20 minutes and, you know, just having cramps all the time. So I'm kind of ready for her to come, but she's, she can take her time all she wants. Um, like I said, my, my grandma is coming on the 10th on her actual due date. 
So hopefully she can stay in there maybe till the 11th or 12th. Um, I'm going to talk to my doctor about getting induced just to make sure she comes out. Um, just to at least, if she doesn't come out before my grandma comes, that she comes out when my grandma's here. Um, that was originally the plan, like I said. Ooh, excuse me. Is to have my grandma there when I give birth. But um, if she's, if my daughter comes before my grandma comes, that's great. She'll have more time with her. But, um, but yeah, so there's the cramping. I just realized, I was just taking a shower, and I just realized that um, my feet aren't peeling. They haven't been peeling forever, but, um, but I was just like, wow. Like, so I remember when I first got pregnant, my feet were so gross. Like The skin was peeling so bad. They hurt. They started getting really red and irritated. Like They look like they're going to start bleeding, but now they're fine. Um, when I first got pregnant, my skin was really bad too. Now it's just off and on, but I'm always, I've am always i always been used to that. I've had skin problems since I was like in fifth grade. It's not a big deal. Um, I was just looking at pictures yesterday of before I was pregnant and I really can't wait until I give birth so I can get that body back. I used to like not hate my body, but you know, I had my insecurities, but looking back at it now, I'm like, damn, why was I so pissed off at myself? Like, why did, why did I not like that? Get off. Bella. 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 No. She always likes to put her ball, like, in my purse. And if I tell her not to, not to touch something, she'll put her ball on it just so she could touch it because her ball's there. She thinks she's slick. But anyways, so yeah, we're just waiting on the nursery. But I have to go to work, so I'll 